What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be trying uh, this uh, Royal Purple, uh, what is it called? Max Atomizer, supposed to restore fuel economy, improve responsiveness, and maximize horsepower. It's a six ounce bottle. Uh, it's about $7 not or so. I bought two of them because my gas tank, it's about 38 gallons when empty. Uh, I am experiencing some um, hesitation on the on the vehicle when I press the accelerator <laughs> when I press the accelerator nice when I press the gas I experience some uh, hesitation so I'm hoping that this will fix it about two of them like I mentioned I got the um, mass airflow sensor cleaner and also our handy dandy um, funnel which should be a pretty straightforward a video i'm gonna test that out see if this really works and then i'll let you know in a minute i'm heading out to the uh to the gas station because at the moment i am running out of gas brother i'm almost an empty so let's head out there and see what's going on all right guys so i'm gonna show you what i mean when i say it, uh experiencing some hesitation see i'm going 20 miles 30. Then I push the gas. Oh, I didn't do it this time. But sometimes I press the pedal and it'll be like, oh, wah, like that. Let me see if I can stop real quick and then I'll do it again. Here you go, guys. Look. See? I press the gas pedal and it's slowly climbing. I'll let it go. And then I press it again, it'll be normal. But it, it does that sometimes when I press the gas and it slowly raises the revolution. All right, guys, we are at the gas station and I'm gonna crack this open. Very straightforward. And just pour them down on the gas tank. One down. Let's get the other one. Let's see if I can open this one one-handed. Okay, got it. This is kind of here. And it is kind of purple as you can see. It does kind of give her a, a purple tint to it. Pump our gas, it's normal. And now, fill it up as normal. All right, boys and girls. So that's our full tank of gas. Now we gotta test it out. And see what it feels like if it's, if it's uh, still doing the same thing or not. All right, guys, so I heard somewhere that you gotta run it in higher RPMs so that I, the, there's, there can be more fuel going into the injectors and clean them up. So I'm gonna put them on tow hole and see what happens. Alright. A little bit better, just a little bit better. Like that, we're back at the garage now. Since I also bought this, the mass airflow sensor cleaner, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, um, the intake so I can spray that on real quick. And also, this is the air mass air mass air flow airflow mass sensor or mass airflow sensor, something like that. It's right here, this one here. If I can do this one handed. Oops. Come on, baby, work with me. There you go. Okay, that's one side done. Now let's go over here. And this is this little 
one right here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. We'll pull it out. There's my, oh my goodness. Come on, baby. Work with me. We gotta lose Let's lose this one a little bit more. Sorry guys for shaking the camera so much. But I want to do it with one hand. And it ain't easy. Plus the engine is hot. There you go. Set this aside. Hey, stay. Cool. Now let's take a look at the uh, throttle body. You see anything wrong with it? Let me turn the light on. All right, guys, so here we got our, our airflow sensor, mass airflow sensor. We're going to spray that on real quick with our mass airflow sensor cleaner. Let's spray both sides. Let's try and get it to this side. Also, I know what you might be thinking. Maybe I have a dirty uh, air filter, but look, brand spanking new. See, so the air filter is not a problem. Uh, let's just spray the uh, throttle body next. I tried to turn it on, but it won't turn on if it doesn't have the uh, uh, sensor connected. It will not turn on. Oh, never mind. Oh, there you go. It died, see? <sighs> Let's just spray more of the fuel. So I, I rig the um, accelerator pedal like this. And now we can go. <laughs> now let's put everything back and see if we feel any difference it's like it's like that bam we're all done and let's go turn it on one more time and see if uh, those lights uh, went away because we didn't have those before you stay right there oh my goodness oh my goodness Right there. And what do you know? We still got the engine light on that we didn't have before. Hmm. Alrighty guys, now we're gonna find out what the uh what the check engine line is because we're still there. Still there. Let's see. Diagnose. I believe it's just because I turn it on without the yeah, mass airflow sensor. Once I start driving, it'll go away. There's two. Okay. There's two things on there. Mass airflow. Okay. Yes, I knew that. Second one. Yep. Alright, so there's nothing to worry about it. It'll go away. One. Alrighty guys, so we are at a stoplight. Let's see if we feel any difference on the vehicle. Oh, I can tell it feels a lot smoother now. We're going to try that again, but with the tow hole button on it. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. A little 
little bit better, a little bit better. All right guys, so I can tell you that yes, it does feel different. I don't know if it's because I just cleaned the uh, Airmas flow sensor, but it could be also the uh, Royal Purple Cleaner. I don't know, it does feel different. All right guys, so let's get rid of this pesky uh, error codes. Let's just erase the codes. Da, 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 da. Yes, 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 okay, okay, okay. There you go, wait. There you go. And there you have it, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel to see if uh, this product here, the Royal Purple Max Atomizer Fuel Injector Cleaner, really works. So far, so good. I'll let you know in a few in a few days how is this working out. Meantime, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so when I post a new video, you get notified right away. That being said, catch you guys on the next one. Peace. God bless.